afternoon vloggers. We are off to St John's Wood. Now I've spent the morning at home getting some paperwork done, looking at measurements and going through some old files. Uh, we're actually off to a client um, who are related to the Primrose Hill job. So this is actually stage two of the Primrose Hill job. What we're doing is we're going to have a look at a particular couple of rooms with a view to moving furniture from one property to another. Now I know the rooms very well, but I don't have exact measurements. We're going over there to take measurements and to see what furniture we can fit in. Um, I'm feeling a little bit more cool, calm and collected today um, because I've had a reasonably good night's sleep um, and I've been at home and I've been able to catch up on some lost paperwork, which is great. Um, I've also spoken to the Reading job um, and have a decisions, uh, decision made on the desk which is going into the study and a few other things have been decided upon as well which is all great. So let's get on with travelling into London uh, for about let's say an hour or so on the tube, another hour um, and they hopefully should be some good architecture to look at as well because it's very pretty around St John's Wood. It was known as the home uh, certainly in the Victorian era and quite lately, um, quite later on in the 1920s as um, actually having um, quite a few artists there. So hopefully I'll be able to show you some of those. St John's Wood and that's just a flavour of some of the architecture that is around and about this area. Um, this is quite substantial actually when I think about it um, but you kind of forget sort of seeing it all the time. I do a lot of work in St John's Wood so I know the area quite well now um, but today we're going into a flat which I've done some work on previously. Today should be just a bit of a layout job um, but I'm quite sure that they'll talk to me about other things that need doing as well. So let's go inside. So we have some peach silk curtains, a tapestry um, against a French grey wall from Farrow and Wall. This is a spare room, so it's got um, a random collection of furniture in it. That's my bag. Um, like, yes, furniture such as this, dark wood and a divan. And finally, this is just a problem they want me to have a look at. Uh, it's not going to be one for me to do, it's going to be a building problem. As you can see here, there's damp down at the bottom. And I think this has come from a loose pipe that's come from above. This whole pillar will have to come out for the repair to be done. All done in St John's Wood. I had a very good conversation with both the client and the housekeeper, so things are arranged for next week. Um, a little bit of um, conversation to do with which bed is going in which room um, and which is going to look coherent as far as design is going to go. Uh, clients sometimes are less bothered this about this, especially if they're a certain age. Um, they just think of the practicalities and don't think of the design stuff. You sort of have to um, tread a, quite a fine line of what's right and what's wrong and what you can live with and uh, what they want. It's interesting to um, try and either persuade them 
or just settle for yourself and know that uh, you've done a good job for them although it's not necessarily what you would have chosen design wise interesting stuff this uh, part of the Primrose Hill job is obviously number two so I'm going to schedule that in for early next week it means that uh, timing is going to be a little bit tight of clearing the um, first property um, but we're going to see and we're going to do the best that we can So now it's back home to West London for some more paperwork, emailing and video editing for you. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.